And that search does continue as of five o'clock. We're told still no arrest in this case, but authorities tell us the victim in this case is still alive. This was the pace inside the Braintree shopping mall today. A far cry from a frantic Saturday afternoon. You have a gun, you have a gun. Around three o'clock, witnesses gun. say they heard gunshots nearby the Forever 21 store, where police say one man brandished a gun and fired at another man. That 26 year old unidentified victim reportedly remains in grave condition. This appears to be uh, an isolated event. It is not an ongoing threat. The suspect or suspects remain on the run, but that fact didn't detour shoppers here today. My thoughts first, because they said it wasn't an active shooter, so I knew right away that it probably was a personal thing. Um, and I was kind of impressed with the law enforcement and everybody coming and showing up. Yeah, I used to live down the street here, so it's odd that the shooting's here. It doesn't seem to... It doesn't fit the area. They were like running out of the mall and nobody knew what was happening. Lorenza St. Jean and her family were at the mall when the shooting happened. Like others, they dropped phones, wallets, shopping bags, and ran out to police who were at the mall when the shooting happened. Today, the family came back for their belongings. Did you find anything that you dropped? No, no? They, I guess they cleaned it up. As for police presence, there's been one here all day long. Now, as for the suspect, he remains at large. There are a lot of surveillance cameras in and around where the shooting took place, but so far his ID or his picture has still not been released by authorities. Live in Braintree, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.